doing lesson 6.6, .6, compare fractions using benchmarks. Our essential question, how can you use benchmarks to compare fractions? And I, I talked to you guys a little bit about benchmarks already. Benchmarks are kind of what we use to compare things. So more than half, less than half. Half is the benchmark that we use a lot. It always makes me think of when my kids were little, um, we would measure their height every year, like, and write on the door, doorway, like with a pencil, you know, like make a line. I would have them stand up there and I would make, a, my husband actually used to do, um, make a line and then we could watch as they grew and grew. And uh, so you're, that's not really a bench, but it's making a mark on something uh, so we could compare sizes, right? Compare their sizes year after year. So um, this says, David made a popcorn snack. He mixed five eighths gallon of popcorn with one half gallon of dried apple rings. Did he use more dried apple rings or more popcorn? So what we are going to be doing is comparing five eighths and one half. So he did five eighths and that was the popcorn, right? And then he did one half which was apples or apple rings, whatever. Okay, so <clears throat> if five eighths is five eight size pieces, I see some people that are doodling, multiple people that are doodling on their math assignment. Have we talked about that before? Yes. Can you learn math if you are not using your eyes? Okay, maybe you can learn ELA by listening, but math is not just listening, it's seeing as well. Okay, so five eighths, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths. There's five eighth size pieces, right? And one half, that's what we're comparing. We're trying to figure out which is more, five eighths or one half. Which is more? Five eighths. Five eighths, right? You can pretty clearly see it with a model. Um, five eighths size pieces is greater than half. How many eight size pieces is equal to half? Brody? Four, eight. Four eights, right? Because what's half of eight? Four. four. Okay. So if we've got four eights, that's equivalent to half. And then one more eight is bigger than half, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So a way that I like to do this, guys, is with a plus sign, a minus sign, and an equal sign, okay? So five-eighths, that's more than half, right? Mm -hmm. So I put a plus sign. It's more than half. It's bigger. One half is equal to half. That means half, right? Yeah. Okay? Um, because one is half of two. So which is bigger, a fraction that's more than half or a fraction that is half? More than, more than half, okay? So that's this is what we're doing today. Um, so we'll keep going. They're gonna give us some other ways to do this. Um, so we're gonna start by shading the one half model and then shading how many eight size pieces? Four. No? Five. Five, right? And so five eighths is greater than half. 
So David used more. What? Five popcorn. No, David didn't use more five eighths. David used more popcorn. Okay. So you got to think. This is one of those questions that you have to think. What are they asking? Okay, it says next, write five equivalent fractions to one half. So let's do that really quick. Okay, fractions that are equivalent to one half. Let's start with four. What's half of four? Two. 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 Six. What's half of six? Three. 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 Eight. What's half of eight? Four. Four. Ten. What's half of ten? Five. Twelve. What's half of twelve? Six. So all of those fractions are equivalent to half, right? So we're going to go two fourths, three sixths, four eighths, five tenths, and six twelve. What is the relationship between the numerator and denominator of fractions that are equivalent to half? Wade? It's always half of the Exactly. Perfect answer. The numerator is always half of the denominator, right? If it's equivalent to half. So, wait, I couldn't have said it better myself. Um, the numerator is always half the denominator. are equivalent to half. So how many eight size pieces does it take to make half? Olivia? Four. Four. That's correct. How can you compare five eighths and one half without using a model. What you can do is compare them each to one half. So, and I'll elaborate on that in a second. Compare each fraction
guys all get that copy down? Uh -huh. Okay. No? Somebody say no? Okay. Benchmark, a benchmark is a known size or amount that helps you understand a different size or amount. So this amount of chocolate milk, we compared to half. This isn't a half glass, but knowing what a half is helped us understand how much was in this glass, okay? It gives us a visual. Um, I want you to give me more than half the candy bar. You kind of have an idea of what that means, right? Um, okay, you can use one half as a benchmark to help you compare fractions. Example, use benchmarks to compare fractions. A family hiked the same mountain trail. Evie and her father hiked five twelfths of the trail before they stopped for lunch. Jill and her mother hiked nine tenths of the trail before they stopped for lunch. Who hiked farther before lunch? Okay, so we've got, you know, these fraction pieces that we could do, but we're going to do this in a way that doesn't require those. By comparing each of these fractions to half. half. Okay, so we've got um, Evie and Dad. Stay right in your seat, please. Okay. Um, Evie and her dad hiked five twelfths, right? And then Jill and Mom hiked nine tenths of a mile of the trail. Okay. So let's look at Evie and Dad first. Our denominators, 12, gave what's half of 12? Six. six. So did Evie and their, her dad hike more than half, exactly half, or less than half? Less. Less than less. half, because five is less than six, right? So this fraction, for less than half, we're gonna use a minus sign, minus, they didn't well, hike. Of course. Minus. So, Jill and Mom hike nine tenths. What's half of ten, Brody? Five. Five. Did Jill and her mom hike more than five? Yes. Yeah. Or less than five? More. more. Or equal to five. More than more. five. So, guess who hiked further? Jill, Jill and her mom. Jill and her mom, right? Girl power. <laughs> okay. Um, so that means 5 twelfths is less than 9 tenths. Now we didn't do a model or anything. We just compared each fraction to half and said this guy's bigger than half, this guy's smaller than half, so this guy's, or this amount's got to be more than this amount, okay? All right, here we go. So they did a number line here, so 5 twelfths would be right here, 9 tenths. That's almost, if you hike 9 out of 10 sections, that's almost the whole trail, right? So, um, um, and if you look at your fraction, your fraction reference chart, if you find 9 tenths, it's way up here by one whole trail. Um, five twelfths though is way back here. So you can see which one's closer to a whole. It's going to be the nine tenths. That's another way that you can use these to help you check yourself. Okay, put your chair flat, please. Gabe, scoot your chair up closer to your desk. Hey, Lennon. I had a fraction of multiplication table. Well, we're not going to worry about that. Okay. So, now shade, 5 twelfths, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 5 twelfths are shaded, and 
using a model, you have to ask yourself what half of the denominator is. It's 6. Since 5 is less than 6, 5 twelfths or 5 out of 12 is less than half. Because we know because of equivalent fractions that one half is equal to six twelfths, right? And five twelfths is going to be less than six twelfths. Okay, so I have one twelfth. and they are equivalent fractions, that's correct. Okay, good. Explain how you can tell 7 tenths is greater than half without using a model. What's half of 10? Five. 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 Is 7 more or less than 5? More. more. So that means 7 out of 10 is more than half which is five tenths, right? Okay. So half of 10 is five. Since seven, let's write this one different. Since seven tenths is greater then 5 tenths, which is 1 half, 7 tenths is greater than half. I just did the greater than symbol instead on this one. Why is the 
because it takes six of those to equal one half, right? So this, this is the whole right here. This is the whole size. And the 12 size part, it takes 12 of these to make a whole. So remember, the bigger the number on bottom, the bigger the denominator, the smaller the pieces, right? So yeah, it's because in order to get um, one whole, you have to cut it into 12 pieces. That one's not, not correct. So four. Three cards, though? Except nobody knows. Oh, don't you, like, log in? Um, <laughs> you got to hit the cut that, huh? Um, okay. Compare two-fifths and one-eighth. Uh-oh. Two-fifths. 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 Two-fifths.
That's a thought. It's not the correct thought. <laughs> no, I just teased it. <laughs> um, okay, next. I know the answer. What? Linen. <laughs> you have to add three to get half of A. No, you can't ever add fractions. Remember, because um, that's, we're talking about two different things here. So that's like trying to add these two things together. You can't add something that's not the same size, Gabe. They have to be the same size to add them, okay? Because you can't say, well, I ate this amount. And Annie and ate this. that amount. And we ate, and we'll, if we put those together, that was two. <laughs> what? Hands up. Okay, so you can't ever add <laughs> denominators together that are different. Charlotte. The past and the denominator? No. We got two different denominators. Annie, what do you think? Okay, that's a thought too, um, but one eighth is less than half, right? And one twelfth is less than half. Are they equal? Mm -hmm. no. No, no. So you can have um, two or even two twelfths and one eighth. They're not equal, but they're both less than half. So just because they're both less than half doesn't mean they're equal. Good thought, though, Riley. Olivia. We actually get these. What? We actually get these. Linen? Um, you have, um, you make the one I have. We're going to find a common denominator. Oh. We're gonna, shh, we're gonna find a common denominator. Because remember, math builds on itself, right? Yeah. And um, we found, we yesterday we did finding common denominators. And today we're going to use that to help us. Because if you have the same denominator, it's easy to see which one's more. Okay? So if one person eats this amount, and put your arms in your one sleeve, feet on the floor. Then, then, no, let me finish. If one person eats this amount and one person eats this amount, you can easily see this person ate more, right? One twelfth or two twelfths, which is more. Two twelfths, right? So if we have the same denominator, it's easily easy to see which is bigger. So let's do that. Two fifths, one eighth. Two-fifths, one-eighth, um, let's multiply each of these by something to get a new number on the bottom. Let's multiply by eight over eight, bottom number, or other fractions denominator. What's two times eight? Sixteen. Eight times five? Forty. And then let's multiply this one by 5 and 5. What's 8 times 5? 40. And 1 times 5? Five? 5. So that means 1 8 is the same as 5 over 40. <clears throat> and 2 fifths is the same as 16 over 40. Which one's bigger, 5 over 40 or 16 over 40? 16. 16. 16. Therefore... Two fifths is bigger than one eighth. I knew it. Huh? It's just looking at them saying, okay, we we took a long time to, on that problem, but it's really not too bad. Stop it, please. Um, it's looking at them saying, well, I've got two fractions that are less than half or even two fractions that are greater than half. How am I going to decide which one's bigger and which one's smaller? Find a common denominator. And which one of those are bigger? That's the answer. Exactly. Okay. Um, so we have two fifths. We're going to.
going to shave. And then we have um, one eighth we're going to shave. And we can see that two fifth size parts are greater than um, one eighth size parts. All right, so we're going to compare using less than or greater than. Okay, so one half is greater than, less than, or equal to half. One half. Equal. 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 So above this one, guys, or below it if you want. Probably above it. We're going to write equal. And that didn't work. I'm going to write it, make it smaller. Okay. So this fraction equals half. Riley, what's half of six? Three. Is four more or less than three? More. So this fraction is more than half. So now which one's bigger? The one that equals half or the one that's more than half? More than half, right? So one half is less than four six size parts. Okay, three tenths. What is half of ten? Five. five. And three is smaller than five, so three tenths is less than half. So we'll put a little minus sign. What's half of two? One. 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 So this fraction equals half. So now we've got one that's smaller than half and one that's equal to half. Which one's bigger? Equal to half. Okay. What's half of 12? Six. six. Is 11 more or less than six? More. more. This is almost a whole thing, isn't it? If you, have a, if you have a pizza with 12 slices and you eat 11 out of 12, you ate almost ate the whole so entire piece. You only have one piece left. It's probably going to be that one's bigger. So 11 twelfths is bigger than half. 4 eighths is equal to half. So 11 twelfths is bigger. Okay. Um, what is half of 8? 4. 4. So 5 is bigger than 4. What's half of 5? Wait. Three is half of six. We're talking about five. LJ? Two and a half. Two and a half, right? So now is two more or less than two and a half? Less. 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 So this fraction is less than half. So this, so five eighths. A fraction that's bigger than half is greater than a fraction that's less than half. Okay? All right. So that's how I want you to do things. Um, to do these. Um, and if you end up with two fractions that are bigger than half, you can find a common denominator to compare them. Or if you end up with two fractions that are less than half, you can find a common denominator to compare them. Okay?